Millions in China have started traveling to celebrate the Lunar New Year with their family and relatives. The Lunar New Year is an annual 40-day festival and to celebrate it, people travel to their hometowns from big cities like Beijing. People have already started traveling to celebrate the festival. Remember, this is a time when the country is facing its worst COVID outbreak. Though the restrictions have been removed and there is a sense of glee of meeting their near and dear ones. Uh,俗话就是说新冠肺炎就阳了嘛,新冠的新冠阳了,但是大家都阳过了,也都阳康了,没什么问题,就是后续有点咳嗽的话或者什么的对老人影响也不是太大。the COVID infections are spreading and it is burdening the healthcare infrastructure. These are images from a hospital in Shanghai. Patients on beds are lining the corridors of the emergency treatment area. The main lobby of the hospital is also jam-packed. Most of the patients are elderly. A notice on a board advised that patients would have to wait an average of five hours to be seen. And Beijing is worried. It is advising caution. We the the world is cautiously watching as the Chinese undertake the mass movement. It's an annual affair, but there are concerns that the intermixing of people can help the virus to spread unchecked. According to experts, China's COVID death count could hit one million this winter. It's quite possible that there'll be a million deaths or more this winter from COVID in, in, in China. And that number, it could have been much larger if, if China had opened two years ago and hadn't continued with zero COVID before vaccines were available. There would have been many, many more deaths for, from COVID in China. But at the same time, that number, one million or, or more, that could be a much lower number if, if there was a better preparation and possibly better timing for the, the transition away from zero COVID. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.